On May 18th, 2022, I started one, running one mile every single day, no matter what. Every single consecutive, consecutive day for the past one year, I've run at least one mile every day. Now, this started because I'm generally an extremely motivated person, and it was very hard just sitting all day and studying well in med school. It was just very difficult, like not being able to run and exercise and do the athletic things I love with my body. And I wanted to stay fit. But more than that, I have this burning desire to accomplish all these goals. And one of the biggest goals that I failed at was my session at JAWS. I was so determined to surf JAWS. I put in so much effort. I put in like 95% of my savings. I had almost no money when I got home from that trip. And I put like all my energy, all my focus towards this. And we didn't really get the waves. And I had that one time where I checked it and I was too scared to go out. And I paddled out, caught a mush burger the second day I was ever in Hawaii. And I just felt like a failure after it. So I had this burning desire. And I wasn't about to just, you know, stay at that. I wasn't just going to stay at that level. So I was like, we are going to run. I'm going to run one mile every single day. And at least I am doing something every single day that like gets me closer to catching my goal, uh, to, to my goal of catching a real wave at Jaws. And through this experience, I could say it's totally changed my life and it's the best decisions I've ever made every day is just to get up and jog one mile. I've done like, it's just so awesome. There's so much monotony in med school that I talk about, but it's just amazing like to go on a little adventure every day. That's what I think life should be. I think life should just be adventures and having fun. And even on my worst day in med school, when I was working, I worked a 24 hour shift at, in my OBGYN rotation. And that meant I had to wake up before my, uh, before my OBGYN shift and run my one mile at 5 a.m so I could get to work at 7 a.m. And then I worked till 7 a.m. the next day. So on Saturday morning, I woke up at 5 a.m. and I got to work at 7 a.m. And then I didn't get off work until Sunday, 7 a.m. And that was some of the craziest things that I had to do, but it was so worth it just going on these little mini adventures every day. And I'm so happy and like thankful. As you can see, my dad is on his scooter right here, helping me record this one mile uncut. Um, and I'm, I'm cranking on this mile. Like I ran like under seven minutes, which is really rare for me, but I normally do between 10 to 11 minutes every day. Like I am just here for consistency. The other really important thing why I'm doing this is I had to go through two hernia surgeries. And what you guys might not know is I actually got diagnosed with a third hernia. It's a very small one and I just don't want to get surgery because it really set me back after like having to recover for, you know, basically a month each time. And then it kind of took like a total of four months to get back to like normal. And then I still kind of felt weird from these surgeries. So I don't have another two months of my life to lay in a bed and be, you know, not at my peak. So. I figured I'd run every day just to keep loose, keep a healthy weight. Um, it was really a health decision. As much as it started as this thing where I was kind of pissed off that I failed at Jaws and I put all my money towards something and I just, you know, caught a mush burger and then I got too scared to paddle out again. Like it turned into this health decision that I love and I look forward to it. And like the tough times when I was studying for my boards and I was dealing with extreme frustration, I could at least just be like, wow, I have running every day. I, it was the best part of my day, I would say. Um, you know, last summer was really brutal. The beginning of the summer is kind of, it's not as bad as last year, but it's, it's pretty tough right now. But every day I can go for my run and I can be like, yes, I have something to look forward to. This is awesome. This is a little mini adventure. It gets me outside. Like I wanted, I want to live life and like experience it like to the fullest before I die. And like, to me, a lot of that means like, <clears throat> like driving around in a van or in my truck and like surfing remote spots up in Maine and going to like, you know, Canada and going to Iceland and Norway and like discovering new waves and going down to Patagonia and like trying to find a way, like somehow to like pay for this, all this. But that's what I think my life is about. And like, I want to go to Nazare and catch a bomb on a day with light winds, hopefully. 
Um, and I want to do all these crazy, crazy things. And like, I just don't want to sit in a desk my whole life. But that like desire means nothing if I don't do anything towards it. So these one miles have just gotten me to do these awesome little adventures. And you know, even if it's just literally running around the block, I'm so grateful for being outside. Being outside is like the greatest thing ever, like just being in nature. And as you can see, a lot of these runs are in like suburbia and sometimes in New York City. So like, it's all good. Like I'm still getting out there. I'm still doing what I love to the best of my ability, even if I, uh, I don't have the resources right now to go do those crazy things like sleep in a van in Iceland for a month and score epic waves in a blizzard by myself and do all that crazy stuff, go back to Jaws and catch a bomb on my 10-6. I'm working towards that and I'm experiencing stuff like that. So this one mile has represented so much more than just like a physical thing and so much more than my failure at Jaws. It's like, I just love it so much. And it represents like hope for me and staying, keeping my body like in a great state so I can go out and one day do the things I love. But yeah, I'm pretty gassed right here. I'm trying to breathe through my nose for the whole thing. I got my R Heart Mini Simmons shirt on. I eventually want to come out with merch for that. But yeah, right here we ran exactly 1.1 miles and my dad pulled over the scooter. So I've run at least one mile every single day for the past 365 days. And this was pretty easy. Like it was hard. There were a lot of times I didn't want to do it, but compared to med school, med school is absolutely the hardest thing in my life right now. And it takes up most of my time. But I did this because I have so many crazy goals in surfing and I wanted to take a little bit of each day, bring it back towards myself and make it about not med school. So I was able to run one mile every single day for 365 days. It's not always about doing a ton of work within a month or a week or a half a year, but I did do something very little bit every single day. That's what I want to encourage you guys to do too, is just to do something every single day towards your physical health or, or a goal that you want to accomplish. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this. And as always, we will see you on the next swell. Beside her, I am the better man. When I look to leave her, I always stagger back again. Once I built an ivory tower so I could worship from above. Good morning, everybody. I am going out right now to run my first marathon ever. I'm running this to raise money for winter wetsuit gear. Life has been absolutely beating me down every day. I've been sick, I've missed assignments. I've been doing really bad at my practice tests and whatnot, but it's like 12 degrees. It's 12 degrees here, it's February 2nd, and it's my 262nd day. So I'm gonna get out here and run one mile. It's the only thing I control. It's the only thing I can control in my life right now. So I'm gonna put my glove back on because it's so cold holding this phone. I'll get my mile in. We're up here, just along the Arctic Circle, and we did three sessions today. But I'm still not making any excuses. I'm getting my run in. It's 9:30 p.m. Like everything in my body is telling me, just go to bed. It's my 190th day. 
I gotta do this. And I'm gonna go to bed as soon as I finish this run. It's raining, it's cold. So what now? I can rest, right? I did 365 days. No, today is day 375. I wanna keep this going until I go back to Jaws, paddle out, catch a real wave on my 10-6 gun, and then even then I will crawl across the shore break, get back to my car, lace up my shoes, and run one more mile. And even further than that, I wanna go for the world record of at least one mile every single day, which was set by Ron Hill with at least 52 years. He stopped when he was 78. I started this journey when I was 24, so I might have a little bit of a head start. And yeah, stay, stick with me, make sure to subscribe because as long as the sun rises every single day and I'm alive on this earth, I will be running one mile. And most importantly, I gotta study right now, but as always, we will see you on the next swell. Well.